So all this week we've been asking, how do you change? And I really hope you've seen this theme that the way you change is by being more and more connected to grace. And I want to show you a really concrete example of that. The Bible doesn't tell us his name. We only know that he was a jailer. Paul, the guy we started with, was preaching the gospel in a city called Philippi and he got into trouble for it. He was jailed. And if you were the warden of a prison back then, it's not because you were a nice person or wanted to rehabilitate anyone. It's because you knew how to treat people badly. Because you knew how to obey, how to lock people up, and how to torture them. This guy was probably pretty good at his job. This was an army city. It was a military town, and so he knew what to do or else he'd be into big, be into big trouble. And in the middle of the night, there was an earthquake. And the warden ran out and was about to kill himself over the failure to do his job when Paul cried out, Hold on! We're all here! And the warden ran in and saw that his life was saved because all the prisoners were still in the jail. And he brought up Paul and he said, What, what gives? What is this? And Paul explained, Jesus died for you. You are forgiven. And when the warden saw God's love for him, all of a sudden he had to show love for Paul. And at that time of the night, he made sure that Paul's wounds were taken care of. He fed them dinner. He got up, he got his entire family up to listen to Paul, and they were all baptized. You see, if you want to see change, you need to know grace. And what happens then is, as you know God's love for you, you start reflecting that in love for others. You start recognizing your sin and how your sin has harmed others, and you say, I don't want to do that anymore. This is how you change. Get to know God's grace.